Daily Encouragement for Thursday, April 30th, 2020. The verse comes from Romans 1, 8 through 12, New King James. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. For God is my witness whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers, making request, if by some means now at last I may find a way in the will of God to come to you. For I long to see you, that I may impart to you some spiritual gift, so that you may be established, that is, that I may be encouraged together with you by the mutual faith both of you and me. Mutual Encouragement is the title of today's devotion. Mutual Encouragement is an ingredient of Christian fellowship. I long to see you, says the Apostle. He knows that when they meet and share each other's company, there will be a sharing of life and experience of the common salvation. Jude 3, Amplified Version. And in the deepest sense of the Lord Jesus himself, into whose fellowship God has called them, 1 Corinthians 1, 9. Mutual encouragement involves the ministry of the word that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to make you strong. No doubt Paul's intended method was to give them the kind of teaching that follows in this epistle. In the end, there is no greater spiritual gift than the gospel of God's grace. It is the kind of preaching expressed in Romans which speaks to men for their strengthening encouragement and comfort 1 Corinthians 14:3 preacher and hearer are encouraged together because in the final analysis the preacher is a listener too mutual encouragement finds its source in mutual faith that you and I may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith nothing is more vital and faith object is the key Imitate their faith, says the writer to the Hebrews, speaking about Christian leaders, and points to that object. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 13, 7 and 8. Pray with me. Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you've done and are doing through each of your followers. Lord, we are so blessed by what you've given to each of us and that we have it to share with fellow believers and those who will become believers. By your Holy Spirit, open our hearts to those opportunities when we can strengthen and encourage one another and to humbly receive from another that they may receive blessing for their part in giving. You said the world would know we are your followers by our love for one another. Let that be true, Lord, now more than ever. Until we are together with you in paradise, we thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right. And the links are there if you'd like to check that out. And uh, give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe. And leave a comment, question, prayer request. Love to hear from you. So have a good day. God bless. See you tomorrow.